think apart from Appledore Shipyard, they were probably the, you know, the, the employers that, you know, mm. the main employers. Because, you know, loads of people worked. Cause there, I guess there was two factories at Tarrington, three in Biddeford. You can't imagine. But then, in those days, if you went anywhere, you wore gloves. Certainly at any dressy occasion. And nowadays, how often do you see anybody, apart from keeping warm? We used to do pure silk light, and it really was pure silk. Not one layer. They'd be two, three, or four layers. And they would be made because there was nothing warmer than pure silk. And they would be put in the leather gloves for pilots and airmen and everything to keep their hands warm. Like I said, we ended up with doing skiing mitts and balaclavas and things like that. But that was the extent of it. Oh, I think, no, yes, I think they did do knitted scarves at Appledore. They had a knitting machine at Appledore, but never in Biddyford. Didn't you do for a king? A yes, I, I, I vaguely remember being told this, mm. that they made a pair of gloves, probably two pair, for the king of Tonga. And I've given to understand that that was the largest gloves, you know, that were ever made there. It was it. enormous. Yeah. I remember being a visitor to Buckingham Palace. You know, and he was ginormous. I think he must have been about so strong. More. And like I said, we made for the mayors of London, the different ones each year. And that was gloves called musketeers. And they were long ones up to the shoulder. They had three buttons, well, like that, three buttons there, so they could put their hand out, undo the button, put their hand out for shaking. But they still had the glove on their arm. You see, you're learning, aren't you? <laughs> we did a lot for Marks and Spencers. I must say they were the, to my mind, the fussiest firm that ever was. If ever they passed everything, you knew very well. You, I, that's why I always say you could always be safe for, and what you bought from them, because it was always tip top, because they were adamant that they would be done to their specification. And and you, they would not veer, because if you didn't do that, they, they, they wouldn't place the order. I always remember a friend, he's dead now, and he had to make out an invoice for some gloves, and he couldn't, it was perforated silk, or, or art silk, or something like that. And when he made it, when I looked at the invoice, he'd got art silk with O's and he couldn't spell perforate. <laughs> <laughs>